inshallah, inshallah. Uh, you see if um, the brothers on and check my channel, Baba Kusha. And so we go ahead and start. Shalom, shalom. All right, Shalom, Shalom. All right, Shalom, Shalom. Uh, first and foremost, before we get started, as always, we're going to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai Ba'ashem, Rakach Kadash. Also, double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, and salutations to all the brothers out there who are pushing his word on truth and all sincerity. And, uh, you know, it's another Thursday. Uh, class just ended, and, um, you know, we were talking about several different things in class. And, um, you know, we, we first started off with, you know, particular things that were happening in this world, all right? Oh. You know, and these are signs that, you know, this world is falling apart. Mm -hmm. That we're at the end of this, uh, we're getting close to the end of this particular age, which it's the, uh, uh, the age of whom? Esau right now, okay? Mm -hmm. This is his world, his dominion, okay. all right? But it's falling apart quickly. You know, yep. Hey, and I'll call one of my all these things, man. Yes, and okay. just to speak on Esau, kingdom or queendom falling, and as you can see it, it's actually um, uh, more. It gives you more spiritual power. It gives you more uh, uh, fire. It gives you more uh, faith. It actually builds you. About to just give me. Could you go give me a, a cup? Yeah. Um, more faith. It builds you up because now all the stuff that we was uh, fussing and cussing and acting a fool about is now starting to come to pass. And we can actually see Esau's kingdom fall in, in, in front of our faces. Yep. Mm -hmm. I got three Matter of fact, it's like, yeah, somebody get uh, the, uh, the, one of the pledges we have is just fall right now. Got it. But you know, go ahead and talk about Esau. Uh, yeah, this is just real quick. Luke chapter 10, verse 18, it says, And he said unto them, I beheld Satan as lightning fall mm. through heaven. Mm. Yeah, and you know, we all seen lightning. All right? It's quick. It's quick. <laughs> One, two, three. Boom. It's done. And that's how uh, Esau is falling. And he, ro he rose up quickly, and he's falling just as quick as, to, uh, as well, man. All right? And you got to remember uh, the heavenly time frame. Yeah. Right? So a thousand yeah. years to us is only a, a day to the Lord. So Esau, what, he's been in power, let's just say roughly 600 years, right? The end of the 1300s, you know, early 1400s, you know, he started coming in into power, right? That, that's not a long time. It's only been a half a day, man. All right? In the Lord's, you know, in the heavenly time frame. So this is a, a moving quickly, man. All right? Things are, are happening very, very fast. And it's a beautiful thing because, look, it, it is the elder said uh, during class. If the Lord basically doesn't uh, uh, speed up things, no flesh uh, will be saved, man. Right. Emergency precept, real quick. Yeah, man, man you uh, got it. This is uh, Sirach 18 and 10. It says, As a drop of water unto the sea, and a gravel stone in comparison of the sand, so are a thousand years to the days of eternity. Mm -hmm. And that's why this kingdom has nothing on what we're about to have. Man. Yep. We're going to have an eternity. It says we're going to have an age without end, a world without end. That's right. You know? Come so on, what are you going to sacrifice for that? That's what it is. Hey, and vice versa, what did you how I say, man? I mean, what should a man give in exchange for his soul? There's nothing that Esau can give us. This man's going down right now. Mm -hmm. man. We're coming up. It just yes, it's through, man. All right. Put the scripture. I got. I got one. Um, it's lucky I'm using my phone, so I'm going to quote. I'm just going to reference and quote it. Babylon is, Babylon is. Fallen. The Lord. This is prophecy. The Lord said Babylon is fallen. The yes. Babylon is fallen. This great city, man. All right. It's the old and it's the New Testament. It's always been prophesied that Babylon was going to eventually fall. Yep. All right. I got mm -hmm. uh, this uh, Sirach. Uh, oh, were you done, brother? Go on. Okay. This uh, Sirach 25 and 7. There be nine things which I have judged in my heart to be happy. In the tenth, I will utter with my tongue. A man that hath joy of his children, mm -hmm. and he that liveth to see the fall of his enemy. Mm -hmm. and that's what we see right now. We see the falling of our enemy, man. That's right. And fast as heck, bro. Oh, yeah, man. Yeah, they're, they're, they're through out here. Oh, okay. Yeah. You know, the com I'll say the common Edomite, mm -hmm. right? They're on. Well, we, we talked about it in class. Trank. Yeah. All man. right. That, that new drug, especially <laughs> out there in the uh, uh, East Coast. Through. You know, just completely through, man. Gone. You go to uh, Philly. 
Baltimore, uh, uh, Boston, they're gone out there, okay? And even out here, like how you said, hey, all, all these uh, sub uh, suburban kids from Vaporville, yeah. Evanston, uh, Winneka, Wilmette, all these Edomites, they're, they're, they're hooked on uh, fentanyl, heroin, okay? Through. They go to the west side, right? That's where a lot of, uh, that's where the majority of the drug addicts are. Go to the west side, and, and, and about half of them uh, people are Edomites, man. Oh, yeah. And that's the Jake area out west, man. Mm -hmm. Okay? I'll say they're, they're the ones who are buying all the dope from uh, Jake out there. Mm -hmm. um, they gentrified it, oh, and, yeah. now, and, and uh, especially on Madison. Oh, yeah. Uh, Ooh, and and once you get, and, but when, when, once you get, the further west you go, because when you, like, go first from downtown, you have uh, Fulton. Yeah, it's nice now. Now that's all nice and everything. <laughs> you get past Ashland, you got Whitney Young, you got mm -hmm. the hospitals, you got all those, you know, UIC, U I the, 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 the university. Then you get past, like, uh, Daniel and Cassie. As soon as you get a little bit further, it starts, then you got a lot of Edomites over there now when they were never there. Mm -hmm. Now you got them pushing over there, but now they're in the midst of the hood, mm -hmm. just like in Pilsen. Oh, yeah. When shit hit the fan, Oh, them motherfuckers gonna be Jake is gonna be they're gonna be in the neck of Jake. You know what I'm saying? You know all these uh, you know my start moving to you know uh, the, the Bronzeville, the uh, uh, Kenwoods. Yeah. All right. Yeah. You know they're, they're they're over there. You know I'm in Sands and Forty Third. Yeah. You know, hey, you know they think it's sweet now, <laughs> but when when this shit really cracks, man. Oh. And that's oh. a hey, that, that's a sign, man. If the brother can get that too, I'm just gonna be a uh, uh, nation against nation. That's Matthew it. Twenty Four. Hey, get that. Uh, uh, start from the top too. Yeah, you, know, you got more. Or was that it? Uh, that, that was it, right in the Ciroc. Yeah. You uh, know, so point yeah. being, though, there's so many things going on. Then you, we're seeing the dollar collapsing. Okay. Hey, uh, you have all these, um, all these other countries. They're dropping the the U.S. petrol job, uh, dollar in a uh, trade. Okay. Saudi you got you got Jamaica, uh, uh Mexico. Yeah. There's uh, 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 Algeria trying to join the BRICS system. Saudi All right, Arabia. you have Saudi Arabia that said, you know what, we're going to use the Chinese yuan now. And you got to remember, the Saudis were, that was uh, like America's like, uh, you know, a uh, pale, okay? It, or I'll say like their bitch, okay? In the Middle East. Right. Now they're t turning the, their back against the, uh, uh, the, the U.S.? Come on, man. It's oh. over. You know? But get that out. Uh, get that in Obadiah where it says uh, basically... Uh, what is that? Well, if your uh, allies are going to turn against oh, you. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. I got you. I forgot how it's worded. It's a lot. This uh, Matthew 24 and 1. <clears throat> and Yahweh Shai went out and departed from the temple. And his disciples came to him mm -hmm. for to show him the buildings of the temple. <clears throat> and Yahweh Shai said unto them, See ye not all these things? Mm -hmm. Verily I say unto you, There shall not be left here one stone upon another that shall not be thrown down. And as he sat, it's like that. And as he sat upon the mountain, yeah, that was the old, you know, Roman Empire. Right. And what's going to happen in this uh, new uh, Roman Empire? Even worse. Yep. Exactly. Mm -hmm. It's actually going to be worse. It doesn't say the same thing, but you're right. Even worse. Because this place is going to turn into a what? A desert, a wasteland. Okay. It's going to be completely through soon. All right. Mm -hmm. You know. You got it. Verse three. And as he sat upon the Mount of Olives. The disciples came unto him privately, saying, Tell us, when shall these things be? Mm -hmm. And what shall be the sign of thy coming and of the end of the world? And Yahweh Shai answered and said unto them, Take heed that no man deceive you. Yep. For many shall come in my name, saying, I am Hamashiach. Yeah, you got people who are saying that they're actually the Messiah right now. Mm -hmm. but then you actually, but, you know, that's one level. But then you also have other people who say that they're anointed, you know? Oh, I'm a, I'm a prophet. But you're talking about the new covenant, okay? You're saying that uh, um, this right here. Uh, you're saying that uh, uh, JC's the name. Right. What else, man? There's a bunch of stuff. I mean, there's, the, the, the Babylon, uh, the America isn't Babylon. It's actually the Vatican. Right. Uh, oh, hmm? man. What else, man? There's so many things that we've heard. So many things throughout the like country, man. It's, it's it's too many to name. Flat Earth. Flat Earth. Flat Earth. The Edomites can make it. We talked mm -hmm. about that in class. You got guys saying black on the Israel. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's really magic mushrooms, that shit. Oh, <laughs> oh, the, the, oh you yeah. remember that one? What? Did they said the manna was magic rip mushrooms. Oh yeah, I remember that dude. Mm -hmm. That bug out. Mm -hmm. And then 
Hey man, it, we mentioned in class, hey, the deceiver and the deceiver are his. Mm -hmm. The Lord got all these people in the trick bag, man. Hey, we pray that the Lord doesn't take his Holy Spirit from us and that we continue on this right doctrine mm -hmm. and just continue on the right path. Because at any moment, the Lord can bug us out. Mm -hmm. That's scary as all hell, man. Mm -hmm. And we just seen a dude that, that was in our camp. I've never seen anybody fall oh, that quick, man. Jesus. Me neither. That, 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 that oh, Pooh Bear, man. Completely threw now. Oof. And now he's uh, just preaching the hurt doctrine. But I like the fact that what you brought out earlier. He following um, Dumb and Dumber over in Mississippi. Oh, yeah, yep. But then um, uh, one is saying, what, well, who, who said what about the Passover? Oh, yeah, so you had you have Pooh Bear that says, don't keep the Passover. Bro. And then you have Dumb and Dumber saying, keep the Passover. But they're supposed to be all together. Yeah. And, my, and here's my whole thing. If you're listening to this, Pooh Bear, where's the review videos on Dumb and Dumber then? Nothing All right, the Mississippi Swamp Boys. It's not going to okay. be a choice on keeping it in the kingdom. It, it's still going to be the same as we. It's, well, we're um, rehearsing the righteous act. And that's the righteous act that we're also going to practice in the kingdom. It's what Because three times a year, man, it's supposed to meet, man, to, to, to worship you. How about you? How about that? That's forever. That's going to be in the kingdom. He, he said, um, Feast of the Passover. Feast of Weeks yep. and Tabernacles. Yep. He said to the point where if the heathens don't keep the Tabernacles, we're going to fuck you up. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So what what does that mean in weight to the Heavenly Father? And I have one question for somebody who doesn't want to keep the Passover now. Are we in need of the Lord to pass over us right now? Mm -hmm. When chariots come, if the Lord doesn't pass over our sins, all right, mm -hmm. are we going to be caught up in this world or are we going to make it? If you wicked, you're not going to make it. We need the Lord to pass over us again. Because mm -hmm. the Passover was the Lord passing over us to go destroy Esau Edom. Do we need the most, I mean, it's like it, um, Egypt. Now, do we need the Lord to come pass over um, us now to get Esau e uh, Edom? Yes. Hell yes! yes sir. This is spiritually Egypt. Egypt. Oh. Right? And he said this is everlasting covenant, man. So yes, we're supposed to keep the Passover, mm -hmm. and we do it to the best of our ability because this is a rehearsal. Is it here we rehearse the uh, righteous act? Yeah. Uh -huh. All right. So how are you rehearsing the righteous act but not rehearsing? And then, hey, can I say this real quick? Yeah. My whole thing. Uh, well, man, I love to bring this out. The uh, that was it. The Book of James. That, that, that you're going to show your faith by, by what? By your by your works. works. What are the works? That, <laughs> that, that what's written? No, what oh, you're no, supposed no, to be doing? No, no. Her doctrine. Must come against the men of the Lord. And that's another thing. I went on his page, oh, just like we go on um, um, the Mississippi Swamp Boys, Dumb and Dumber, Dumber, how you want to call them. Right. Why not that just work and focus on Jake, waking up Jake? I can almost respect you. Mm -hmm. I make you think of the brother for a while. Yeah. He, yep. still make, he still make comments on our videos, mm -hmm. saying Shalom, yeah. getting elders, double out him. He yeah. want to do his own thing. Yeah. But he go out and do his own thing. Yeah. But he's going out to teach. He's still doing the lessons in the crib, and he's watching videos and commenting on our videos and not coming against the doctrine. Yeah. He got a better chance to make it because even though, you know, he got offended at some things here and wanted to do his, you know, his solo dolo, he's still doing the work. And I have other evidence of men who did that. Mm -hmm. There's an elder right now, yep. all right? Um, uh, and he, back in the day, this is before majority of you brothers, Lahab and this brother know, and Kanasa know. Uh, well, this elder, one of the elders in our camp, you know, after the uh, before the merger, all right, um, it was some shit that went down with the uh, one of the, one of the camps, and you know he wanted to do his own thing, so he did his own thing for several years, all right. But he would always come. He did his work. He did his teaching. He would come by the camp, salute everybody for several years until one 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 time he was like, man, what's up, bro? And he was like, I'm I'm, here. I'm back, bro. And it was it because the brother will stay diligent. All right. If you're about the Most High, guess what you're gonna be about? His gospel, his doctrine, his word. You're gonna be giving double honors. You're gonna be doing the work. If you about animosity, if you about revenge, you're about being a hurt doctrine, as we call it. Ninety percent of your videos is gonna be talking about the men of the Lord and how we ain't right and what you think is right, and the same thing said about twenty-five different times in different yeah. ways. But are you gonna be? What about what about the regular Jake that needs to be waking the fuck up? What about the identification of the Edomites? Right. What about um, um, uh, uh, the, the plagues? Uh, I'm talking about all doctrinal points 
the Hebrews. It's a million things to talk about in Israel right now, what's going on in the world and how the prophecies are coming to pass. But all your videos is on Great Millstone. All your videos is on, you know, the, the, the new covenant that you think we in, but your dumb ass is teaching. When they said when you get the new covenant, you shall not have to teach your brother. That's how the big the dichotomy is between men of the Lord who are for the Lord versus men of the Lord who are after their own belly. My, my thing too, even with the gotta just throw a little jab in there. Doesn't doesn't it say didn't the Apostle Paul say that we're what under grace? Yes. Yeah, that's all I'm gonna say. You don't have to close that. It's just, you know, it's hot. Ain't nobody here. <laughs> but yeah, man. But then these are all signs, right? That uh, these things had to occur before the Lord uh, uh, makes the second return. Yes. We had to have the false prophets. We had to have people coming up against us. The scoffers on. Yep. You know? And it's going to get into a kind of brother. Get that Matthew 24 because he, he's talking to the other. I think we, we're around about three now. Um, Talk about the, what? The, the wars, the rumors of wars. All right? Nation against nation, so on and so forth. And brother, get that real quick. You got it? Uh, yeah, this is Matthew chapter 24 and verse 3. And as he sat upon... Oh, I think we were like 6. Yeah, yeah where are we at now? Uh, Let's get it. This is Matthew 24 and 6. And ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. What would this 5 say? For many shall come in yeah. my name. Time is Matthew chapter 24 and verse 4. And Yahweh Shai answered and said unto them, Take heed that no man deceive you. Mm -hmm. For many shall come in my name, saying, I am. You said few should come? Many. For many shall come mm -hmm. in my name, saying, I am Mashiach, and shall deceive many. And ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that ye be not troubled, for all these things must come to pass. But the end is not yet. For yeah. nation. Keep going. For nation shall rise against nation. Perfect. And kingdom against kingdom. Yeah, so nation shall rise against nation. When you go into that word nation in the Greek, I believe, what, ethnos? Which goes into your ethnicity, your actual race. So, as the elder said, there are the, all this gentrification that's happening, all right, throughout the United States, not just here in Chicago, but it's happening in New York, L.A., uh, 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 you know, Houston, wherever, you know, Miami, all right? All this gentrification is happening, so what can eventually happen? A race war. Because even out here in Chicago, what, because you mentioned Pilsen, you had those Issacrites, because basically Pilsen is a, a, a Issacrite neighborhood, right? And you have all these Edomites in there now, what? and, and, and um, you know, whatever is in there, you know, it's a huge mix. But you had um, these... Uh, oh, uh, Pilsen's Egypt. majority yeah. was 95% uh, Issachar yes, and maybe 5% uh, 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 Southern, yep. right? True. Now... Is fifty fifty. Yep. You have they they oh they started pricing up the uh, the buildings, mm -hmm. um, out pricing the businesses, and little by little I'm not gonna say fifty fifty either. I think it's only about thirty to forty percent. Yeah, it might be because it's yeah. still it's still gotta be more Issacar over there. It's more. Yeah. It's still more Issacar over there, but they're they're working on it because Esau don't readily move over there. Oh, yeah. Once I readily doing it, it's niggas. See the right now Esau's queendom is so bad. I was just watching um, Epic uh, Economist. The middle class is dead, bro. Mm -hmm. People who make a hundred thousand dollars now mm -hmm. can't afford to buy a house. Yep. All right. That's simple. They can't afford to buy a house. So you got them. Well, what the fuck are we gonna move? Well, we gonna have to buy a condo, we gonna have to buy an apartment. Okay, now the poor folks can't do that shit except they got subsidies, so they can go do it where the government say they can. not if you're super rich, you can go do what the fuck you want to do. Everybody in the middle now, if you ain't already got a foot in the market, you're going to have to find something, and that's the ones who are going to the Pilsons. That's the ones because they're making it low enough from out of the expensive shit. They can't get a, they, they can't get the uh, two bed, three bedroom in Bucktown, and uh, you know what I'm saying. They can't go over to the Gold Coast. They can't go. They ain't got that type of bread because they don't. They ain't making two, three, four hundred thousand on up. They only making around seventy five to one hundred twenty or whatever. Then they gotta go to where the price market is, where they can actually live and move. That's that's why they're doing uh, uh, gentrifying Pilsen because they already did Wicker Park. Now they're doing um, and Wick, Wicker Park is gone now. Humble too. Yeah, Humble Park that's gone. They done pushed um, Ephraim all the way down to California. 
Pass, 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 like pass kids, you know, really. Well, no, I, I, well, yeah. California is before kids or after kids? Uh, I can't remember. California, California, California yeah, then, then kids. All right, but you got California, well, you get where the, the, the armory is. Mm -hmm. But that's kind of the border. And yeah, really, Kansas is. is the border. Yep. California, California would be border, because that isn't California the park? Yeah, Humble that's park. Right. So you just, that yeah, Humble Park is a huge ass fucking park. Yeah. So on the other side between California and Kexi, which is the whole park is that big, mm -hmm. and then North Avenue and uh, yeah. the, the division and so forth. Mm -hmm. And once you get past to uh, Kexi, then you got Ephraim. They don't push Ephraim. They took at least a mile or two, oh, yeah, two, two or three square miles out of Ephraim's <laughs> shit. Yeah. They were really by Milwaukee. Yeah. No, that got they, 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 they was there by Ashland. Yeah, yeah, hell yeah. That's from Ashland to, and to Damon. That was that was them. That was that's where the park from over from Ashland all the way over. Yeah. Yep. Now from so basically from Ashland to Ketsy. Yep. Basically, basically Ashland to Ketsy, the Esau push um, Jake out. Yep. All right. You know, but that's it. Guess what? It's a lot. That's just the scripture. Um, basically, Jake told him to get him. So they know I'm quoting because I don't have my phone. Up, fire. Um, no, Jake, uh, that Judah or Jake will be in the necks of their enemies. Yeah, so like how are you in the neck of your enemies? You're right there! Yep. And guess what? Jake is going to fuck with Jake first because Jake is scary like that. Mm -hmm. But then when Jake goes to see Jake and bust him down, oh, he ain't got no food. Damn, they ain't got no food. Well, shit. They gonna go less to no. They got the food, but it's already happening, man. Yes. Cause what does it say? Judah shall be a terror unto Egypt. Yes. And out here in Chicago, the majority of the uh, uh, people who are, hey, can I say this? The majority of the robbers are Judah, right? Yes. And who are they robbing now? Yes. They're, they're they're robbing Esau, man. They're going to uh, the Lincoln the Parks, the Gold Coast. Mm -hmm. All right, uh, it, it, Wicker Park, mm -hmm. Bucktown, Bucktown, and they're right. they're, they're taking the Audis. All right, the Porsches. Mm -hmm. Okay, the, the Range Rovers, mm -hmm. and they're going to the back to the west side and the south side to the chop shops. All right, and then all of a sudden, these people find their car in the middle of a fucking abandoned lot, all fucked up. Mm -hmm. Through. Just a friend. Yeah, just. Ah, through, man. You know? Yeah. That's what's happening, man. Mm -hmm. and, and it's getting more and more prevalent. It was just in the news the other day uh, two robberies within a mile or two away, and they try to see if there's some links together or whatever. Bro, they're, they're doing strings of robberies, and they're getting these dead ass, man. Oh, yeah. You know, but uh, uh, one thing I wanted to say too is, with that all being said, I, uh, going back to the situation with the uh, uh, Pilsen, right? You had those Israelites saying basically, uh, <laughs> hey, you, you whites get the fuck out of our neighborhood. I forgot how they worded you know, it. What you mean? Be put in the yep. garages? Yep. Get the fuck out. Right. Fuck you. Yeah. They said in a lot. They say it verbally, and they've been doing it in graffiti mm -hmm. over on their property, on their garages, on the walls and shit. They saying, fuck you, white fuckers, man. Mm -hmm. Yep. And because Jake's getting tired, and the Lord ultimately is what? Putting a spirit on him now, man. Yeah. Because they, that prophecy has to be fulfilled. Nation shall rise against nation. All right? And, and, and what? It's a kingdom against kingdom. And we're seeing what? These uh, mighty empires starting to clash, man. It's basically, of course, Russia and the United States, are the, you know, the heads of those um, those two mighty you know, empires, basically. But you're seeing what? NATO versus BRICS now. That's literally what's uh, uh, bef uh, befalling right in front of us, man. You're seeing a, a split. Who's following the United States and who's following Russia? This is beautiful. We are living in great times, man. They, 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 this is, man, call one like Abashimasha. I got to keep saying that, man, because the Lord is speeding these things up for us, man. We're about to get out of fucking captivity soon, man. So why do you have And then, then the Lord's like it, because I want to... Uh, What's the name of the lesson again? Yeah, uh, uh, the world's crumbling, uh, the poly crisis. Right, and that, that one's going to the, the, poly, yeah. the poly, the many crises. Do you know the plagues of Egypt is plaguing the America? The Lord said in the, according to Revelation that Babylon is modern day Egypt uh, and yeah. Sodom and Gomorrah. Right, they said about modern day Egypt and Gomorrah. Get it real quick. It's Revelation eleven and eight. Also to Doctor Brown. <laughs> Fucking God, no. no, he's a no, he's a doctor, a falsifier, a falsifier. Mm -hmm. Where a doctor means to falsify. Mm -hmm. So falsifying Brown, he's right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know? Revelation eleven and because eight. Because whatever he say, he's falsified it. Why do you care what he say? Fuck him. Mm -hmm. doctor. Revelation. We gotta, so like, for the record, we do because we correct the doctrine and our God. We are the true apologists. Okay, go ahead. Mm -hmm. oh. This Revelation. Uh -huh. 
Oh, this is Revelation 11 and 8. And their dead bodies shall lie in the street of the great city, which spiritually is called Sodom and Egypt. The most high calls this Egypt, right? Go ahead. Mm -hmm. It says, where also our Lord was crucified. All right. And they took away, uh, took Yahweh and turned into Jehovah. Mm -hmm. They took right. Yahweh Shai and turned into Jesus. And mm -hmm. then they took the, the woolly hair, skin of brass, uh, and burnt in the furnace and turned into a, 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 a red, blonde, blue-eyed, effeminate, ball, uh, naked, little wimp, little scrimp, dick, mm -hmm. bastards. Jesus Christ Superstar. Come on, bro. <laughs> <laughs> but that's really what they turn him into, man. Yeah. He is a, he's a brother of and he's a fucking uh, a hippie, man. <laughs> yeah? yeah? From Wicker Park. Yeah. Damn. Yeah. So that's basically what they turn Jason into. Lord said, don't have your hair cover every yeah. division of, of your house shy is peace. Right. Yeah? The Lord called himself the austere. Yeah. Peace. 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 With the lamb. With uh, the lamb. Hi. <laughs> Stop it, guys. Stop. Please. No, no. What? He said he was a man. The most high is a man of war. How is his name? Was how much more his son? Right. He said it too. We mentioned it earlier. If his kingdom was of this world, the same as his father. Come on. Mm -hmm. He was swore about things that he would do on this side if he had the power, man. He would command the angels. He would command all He said, don't you? No, he said, no. He didn't say what he. Uh, let me just clarify what he said. He said, uh, don't you know if I, I can call seven legions? Yeah. Now, or how many legions he said? He said, I can call these motherfuckers. Damn. But then what did he say? Not my will, Lord, mm -hmm. but thine will be done. And mm -hmm. then he also said, I lay my life down. Mm -hmm. Whew, my little Lord. You know, because then that's how we're going to get it. All right? Go ahead, brother. Oh, yeah, he had some more? No, no, I was just saying that. Yeah, that was it on that one. I had another. Yeah, Come on. Keep going, then you might be finished. Yeah, yeah, you can. All right. This is Matthew 24 and 7. For a nation shall rise against nation, mm -hmm. and so. kingdom against kingdom, and there shall be famines and pestilences and earthquakes in diverse places. Is, okay, nation against nation, kingdom against kingdom, race against races. Is, this is going to be the ultimate race war. It's not going to be no black on white, black on white only. It's going to be some black on white, whites on black. It's gonna be blacks on blacks, whites on white. It's gonna be Chinese on whites, Chinese on blacks, Chinese people against Chinese. It's every Amen. man for himself. Yep, it's it's really and there's gonna be alliances, unlikely alliances that you wouldn't even need to see. You'll see a a, a a a a small hat, all right, with a, uh, with you know with the Issachar, right? Oh, you know what I'm saying? Geez. Doing some dumb. <laughs> <laughs> but you're gonna see that. You're gonna see all kinds of different people because you're gonna get to a point now. It's survival. Yep. And when you watch these movies, that's Esau. On the left hand side, showing the, like the road, uh, Book of Eli, right. um, mm -hmm. the the uh, the, the decide or whatever that movie was, um, the, the divide, the divide, yeah, or the, yeah, 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 the, the divide. divide. Yeah. All right, was, you're gonna start seeing it ain't gonna be no longer um, uh, uh, so called race versus shit. so called race. It's gonna be people against people. What's funny mm -hmm. is that they even put that in that cartoon uh, Adventure Time because they, they basically showed that they had a post-apocalyptic world. Uh, oh, yeah. yeah, and then, uh, with, you know, with the vampire princess, it was, it, and they were trying to show the unlikely situation of an uh, older man picking up a, a young girl to protect her. They, that's all that represented. And then you're going to see a lot of unlikely uh, companionships where people gonna bond together, you know, some shit, just even on some Wilson shit, just to have somebody to talk to. Yeah, I mean, they show you that in uh, The Walking Dead. Mm -hmm. They show you that, it's evident in The Walking Dead, you had all nations teaming up, whatever, their little communities, and people came from all different backgrounds. And that's right. good Esau trying to give hope to a fellow shit. Oh, that's coming. All right, because all the Lord said, if we talked about this earlier, if the, if the Most High didn't come back, no flesh would be saved. Mm -hmm. So everything that they are going to do to try to fight and to coalesce and to, to do what they can do, it's going to still it's still would end in total destruction. Mm -hmm. All right. So it's a vain hope that they they're giving. Oh, it will shit. If shit hit the fan, I can go build a bunker. If shit hit the fan, I can go do this. If shit hit the fan, man, I'm, no, no. I, what it's going to do is total chaos. The Lord said what is going to happen. Mm -hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. Matter of fact, one of my I'll quote the scripture. You don't have to get it. Uh, 
I think his aim was two million dollars. As his, it was fleeing from a lion, yeah, he ran into a bear. Oh, I just from, said that. Fleeing from the bear, uh, and, 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 and then you oh, get into the house and bring your hand in the wall and get bit by the poisonous snake. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So you got it. Go ahead, brother. Yeah. This Amos five and nineteen, as if a man. This is how. This is what. This is for the crises and the fall of America. This is all in one. Mm -hmm. Oh, so like it. Can I start at eighteen? Go ahead. Yeah. Uh, this verse eighteen. Woe unto you that desire the day of Yahweh. To what end is it for you? Well, it's not going to be good for a lot of you people. Yes, okay. a lot the majority of these people. Yep. It's going to be really, really bad. You, you people are about to die terribly. Well, they, uh, they shall dwell in torment. All right, they're going to know things after death by pain. All right, you, 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 you people are going to be in a straight calamity. And we were talking about it on the line. You know, even going with the famines, right? You know, people are going to kill each other for things, mm -hmm. and then they're going to end up, you know, killing family members. You got to think about the psychological damage. That does to a person. I had to literally kill my son or daughter to survive. That's, let me ask you a question. That's my boy. From the time the institute, the M to the O to the T to the V, which mm -hmm. April is right around the corner. Yep. And what's supposed to be happening? Um, a lot of, they're going to get rid of that dollar. Oh, yeah. Yes, now, I don't know timelines like accurately because the Lord gives us what's going to happen, mm -hmm. but not necessarily dates. Okay? Right. It tells us time. When you see this, you see parts of the signs, you know this is happening. When you see this, this is how you know. So we can already see where we at. We know we at the end there. Mm -hmm. Now, how fast weeks, months, years, etc. from approximately the time of them instituting the downfall of the dollar, forcing of the digital owie wowie to, to the feminist cannibalism, etc. See, Esau will make you think that shit gonna take years upon years upon years. Well, we know it's not gonna be overnight. You know what I'm saying? But it's gonna be okay. Well, let's look at statistics. How many days is the average that the science or the uh, researchers say a family can live with whatever they got in their pantry and refrigerator? What's the average? Two weeks, man. I think it's three days. Two weeks, you said. Three days. Yeah. Yeah. Days. yeah. If they're three smart, they'll stretch it out. Days. That this the average. Get the average. That means some ain't got shit. Not. Damn. There's some true. that got some, and then you got some who got stocked up. The average is, is three yeah. days. Yep. So now, how can we quantify that? I don't trust you saw in his science. So let's say a week or two. Let's say a week or two. After a week or two, and you can't go to the store, or say if you did take the uh, the owie wowie, or the digital owie wowie, say if you did, that don't mean uh, there's gonna be food at the store because mm -hmm. the Lord said that it's gonna be family too. Mm -hmm. We already right. see it. And we, they attacking like the, what? Uh, all the um, you know, the, the uh, plants, the, mm -hmm. the the meat plants, mm -hmm. uh, even all uh, your crops, man. Mm -hmm. They're getting damaged. Got dumped the milk. Yeah, it's killing the chicken, the fucking up the egg. It's doing fucking up all the food. And then the, how many train derailments? Lost count. How many in the last two or three weeks? Minnesota Somebody Google. Google how many train yes, derailments sir. were in America this year. Somebody just Google it, that. And how that, many train derailments have, yeah, have happened in America this year? And that fulfills the prophecy of that second edge of the sixth chapter. Your uh, uh, full storehouses mm -hmm. shall suddenly be empty. Come on, bro. And, and then I, I think I brought this out to you. Uh, I don't know if it was at the line of one of one of these uh, live lessons here, you have um, uh, medical supplies uh, 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 running low now, too. Yes, sir. So, I mean, it, it's oh. a bunch of stuff that, oh, that's my fan, man. I got to give you one better. It's a baby formula shortage. Oh, so, now watch this. And this scripture said these bitches going to eat their babies. Mm -hmm. Right? They ain't going to have nothing to feed them. And they hungry. It's going to mm -hmm. come down to them and their babies. No, right, right, and even before the they even get hungry, they just, they, man, these women, man, especially yeah. as we always say, fucking black women drive for goddamn my kids. She's so fucking yeah. through, man. She'll be, she'll have a whole fucking fridge full of food, man, but she just, that crying is uh, driving her nuts. She, she'll just throw the fucking baby off a goddamn fucking building, bro. Yeah, it, like, it, straight it, up, bro. It, it, it won't take them much to actually, uh, uh Keisha to eat her kids, man. It ain't gonna take none of them. Big Shirley, come on. Yeah. yeah it's oh. not gonna take none of them, bro. Because yeah. they, uh, um, 
because uh, uh, these women they don't they lack the spirit of the, the communication the Lord deals with us. The Lord says, um, "The flock of my pasture are men." Mm -hmm. So, Lord, unless you got knowledge, wisdom, and understanding going to you, using wisdom. Mm -hmm. Um, the scripture says, wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times and the strength of your salvation. Mm -hmm. Without wisdom, what do you have? Mm -hmm. You don't have intellectual understanding. Mm -hmm. If you don't have understanding, you're through. Why? Because you're not going to know what to do in those situations. Mm -hmm. He said, knowledge and wisdom will give you stability. That means the lack of knowledge, the lack of stability is going to put you in an adverse Ripping and running. That's why he said, rise up, you women that are at ease. Mm -hmm. uh, he said, um, uh, you careless daughters, man. The Lord called you, uh, you at ease and you're careless. Yep. If you're careless, you were without care. For who? You and your children. That's why he said, it's going to be death. Them that deny the Lord, ignore the Lord when they had yet um, benefits and opportunity. Mm -hmm. He said, they should know it by death, by pain. pain. Yep. pain. So you ain't getting around it, Keisha. You ain't getting around it, Rhonda. You ain't getting around it, Pocahontas. You ain't getting around it, Isabel. Man, really? But guess what? You ain't getting around it either, Becky. Yep. You're not getting Korea. around. You ain't getting around it, Maylene. You ain't getting around it, uh, um, t t uh, Hakasaki. You ain't getting around none of you motherfuckers. Man. Your Uka Buka in, in, in Africa. You're not getting around it, motherfucker. That's right. The plague shall come upon this earth, man, as the scriptures say. Come on, bro. You're not running away from judgment. That's the thing. It, you know what do they? What's that movie called? From you know, Terminator Two? What Judgment Day? Right. Yeah. This is really coming, inevitable. man. Hey, it's the inevitable. Yeah. You, like how Agent Smith said, it's inevitable. Mm -hmm. it, it's gotta happen, man. It just, it just is as, as prevalent as the Lord has to have Esau bring his Good. wrath with his N dub O, because that's actually in the scriptures. So it's, it's prevalent that the rest of the judges is gonna follow. This kingdom is gonna be destroyed, and that the, then our kingdom is gonna come. You know. Can I get a fast one real quick? Oh, this is uh, Second Ezra, and this is why this is all happening. All right, for all for, for, why all these things are gonna occur. Wow. This is uh, Second Fifteen, uh, Second Ezra fifteen and five. Behold, saith the Lord, I will bring plagues upon the world. And what? The world, the sword, famine, death, and destruction. So now you look at this two ways. Because this was the second answer. Second answer. So yeah. now, we can't go into the Hebrew, because I haven't seen the Hebrew Apocrypha, to go vet uh, that word, oh, yeah. world. I thought about that too. All right. Now, the world, world, I believe, you know, if you go into Old Testament, it's going to go into uh, Israel. Mm -hmm. If you go into New Testament, it's technically talking about Israel, but then you'll see world in multiple applications and use the different words, but they use the one English word, world, but it's four different. Uh, that thing in, in, in Greek, I think it's gay for the earth. I think it's um, uh, cosmos, mm -hmm. oikomene, and I think it's one other one that's escaping right now. Eon? Eon. Eon, right? Eon. Eon. Come on, study. Yeah. Study it. They study it, brother. All right? <laughs> but each one of them has a difference when it's applied to the whole world as we know it when we hear English world. And that's how they... For God so loved the world, John 3 16, that he gave his only begotten son, so he loved it. You see that they used to have him always every single baseball game. I just wonder why the fuck do they keep putting John 3 16? There's a whole bunch of scriptures in the Bible. What the fuck? There's only one scripture? Mm -hmm. But then I didn't get scoffed, and then I didn't want to scoff it because it was a scripture. So it was like, it's well, still cool. Right. But then I understood it after coming into the truth. That was Esau trying to get a way into the kingdom and have us beg and see he thinks that we can beg and change the most high's heart and mind the most high said this is his will be done not my will mm -hmm. but his will be done how many times you think men of the lord asked the lord for stuff and he didn't give it a lot yep. should trust me ask me i tell you a lot <laughs> it's not <laughs> meant to decide sometimes what but, but it's, it's not meant for us at the time unnecessarily yep. thou shall ask is it possible for me to cut that cup and then what do you say after you, the Lord forsook him and didn't say shit? Not my will. Okay, so I said, Lord, not my will. I gotta go through this shit. The same thing we're going through right now. Mm -hmm. the brothers are in jams with their children. Your brothers are in jams with their jobs. Mm -hmm. Brothers are in jams with their friends, their families, their housing situation, their job situation. They're uh, uh, a whole bunch of top different situations, right? But what does the Lord do? The Lord builds us up and brings us through the shit. You, how many times has a brother called you crying? 
You know what I'm saying? Or in person crying and like pour their heart out. I mean, I've seen it and been one of the ones giving it. <laughs> what do you mean? That's not a big bitch. That's a, that's a real man. Yeah. Right? Did, uh... the, the, otherwise, you know, I would try to be, I can't even even form that in my mind. Right, but yeah. he said he wept. How many times? He wept over Lazarus. He wept over Jerusalem. Mm-hmm. You know, he wept m- many times. Mm-hmm. Uh, King David said he what? Water yeah. Yeah. Come on, man. That's not that's that's not a bitch, man. That's Esau. Esau teach you men don't cry. The difference is we cry. All right. The difference is we don't wallow in that shit. All right. We don't elongate that shit. Take no happiness to heart. You know what I'm saying? Like Benny said that uh, to me, uh, we remove sorrow from me. Yep. And I and I and I have no scriptures like that. It's like, God damn, because it can kill you, man. And we have a stress too. Yeah, 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 I was just gonna say that yeah. depression, yeah. stress, that can literally affect your health and kill you. But yeah. it's a balance though, because it depends if that's good for your heart too. Yep. It helps strengthen it. Well, it depends on the level. Yeah. But no, because then you, hey, you you get built back up. The scriptures build you up as well as break you down through life. Mm-hmm. It gives you that understanding. Yeah, the Lord said, uh, uh, we're a uh, humble and contrite spirit is the right. What's, uh, he said, uh, he, he wants you broken. Right. So, when breaking yourself, when you break yourself, <laughs> right? Wouldn't that hurt? Wouldn't that make you cry? Don't pain make you cry? Yeah. Tell me, uh, one man in this world ain't never cry. See, that's how stupid people are. So, men don't cry. Everybody fucking cry. Dogs cry. Ask Mr. Biggs. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> and he want to be right here now, but he do too much. When I'm trying to do a lesson, and he gets distracted. I had him up here with a lesson yesterday, and then he heard my daughter come down and go grab some other bridge. Wrong, wrong. And I'm like, okay, shoot. And he gets, it's, it, I don't know if my daughter's name out there. It's like, it's, it's nothing, but bitch, smack. And grab one of the lessons. So I was like, so I can hold on one second. I had to go take him downstairs to put him up. He's a puppy. He's not there yet. God damn it. You know? Yeah. But he cried, but we put him out the, out, outside and had some warm weather when it's nice and nobody be out there if you don't fuck shit up. And he's sitting there, I'm like, God damn. <laughs> Almost would make me feel sad. Uh, but get your little narrow ass over there and sit down until I finish. I'll get you in a minute. Because I run him right here, but you know when he's a puppy, he's gonna oh, yeah. the most. Unless he's occupied, give him a big ass uh, oxtail mode. <laughs> your father, your father. I already know. <laughs> Can I finish this? Yes, please. But uh, back at uh, Second Ezra 15 and 5, so this is why the, the, the plagues are coming to the world, the sword, famine, death, and destruction, right? Second Ezra 15 and 6 says, For wickedness hath exceedingly polluted the whole earth, and their hurtful works are fulfilled. This is why the Lord is bringing these plagues. Because these people, like, they're, they're pushing pedophilia, mm-hmm. all right, uh, 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 via transformer, mm-hmm. drugs, mm-hmm. adultery, uh, uh, killing. Well, not only say killing, mm-hmm. murdering, mm-hmm. all right, uh, uh, shorting people. What is it, diverse ways? Because I've been reading the law uh, as of recent, all right? I've been reading Leviticus and Proverbs, and they mention it. <laughs> it's definitely not a Levite. <laughs> <laughs> but, um... Point B, I've been reading that, and they you know, talk about the, the, uh, the diverse ways, man. That's an abomination to the Lord. And people do that all the time, man. But they, the, he said it's, it's hard for a merchant to make it to the kingdom. And I'm a merchant. But it's no, I sell stuff. How often does my prices change? When do I change anything that I don't promise? And I've changed my prices once. Uh, because after my... Like, I used to do three for the ten on the oil. It can't, maybe, nobody, only brothers on his ilk or this brother, these three brothers are here because we remember that in this room. The majority of brothers in the camp don't even have an idea. Now, I was one for five, you coming for two, two for five. I mean, two for ten. Three, three for fifteen. I can't do no breaks on them more because mm-hmm. they went on my price on mine. Yeah. So if I give breaks, I don't make no money. Right. So now I don't, but I still could go over five now. Because they were saying some people charge them seven, so I'm charging eight for one vowel. I do charge certain vowels ten, but that's if it's the uh, oud or the oh, yeah. your favorite. Can I hear a little bit more of that? <laughs> <laughs> that's uh, a strong uh, sad, uh, Or uh, um, the original, um, uh, like, I don't, I don't, like, uh, one of them just came to Moscow. It's, it's the, the older ancient sense. They charge a little bit, but they don't cut and they don't do shit. They eat. You can even see the viscosity is thicker. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Yep. Um, they don't, they don't, but the thing going to that though, I think about that because.
people, when you do business, technically, I can charge what the fuck I want. Yeah. To sit there and woo you to get something to pay more that I know I'm getting you. I could just say, like, look, uh, ask, oh, man, this garment looks nice. How much for this garment? Say, I really want 100 bucks, but I used to sell them for 60 So now I'm going to say, oh, now, you know, this is actually really not actual real gold. So I would sell this for 60 but see, this gold is not worth 100 Then I just lied to you because this ain't nothing. This is a gold color. And this is what uh, Ishmael always does. Yes. For you, then brother. Try, yeah, for you, for brother. you, for you, for you yeah. brother. Then, then you got to play, oh, I'm going to go somewhere else. Okay, okay, I'll do it for uh, 80 and you're hey, looking at right, right. Like, shut right. the fuck up. But, 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 but that was by deception yeah. versus since I can just say, look, this costs $100. Yeah. Straight, flat out. But then you go into diverse weights and measures. It's like... Uh, <laughs> You, you, the gold, right? Pass me that gold that break that. Yeah, I just got it in the mail. You can't even make this up. I know. <laughs> now, I was wondering this real gold. I bought this. I'm not going to go tell you who was all in the face and whatever. You can see it. If you can, you can't. But it was a little deal they had before. If this was real gold. A rich man right here. If this, <laughs> if this was real gold. You know, I know it's not real gold. They advertise it as real gold. And it's a famous person on there. You saw who it was? Very famous person. Yeah, go ahead. All right. Uh, very famous person. Very, very famous. Uh, <laughs> 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 I don't even want to give him no glory. See who it is? No, I, you can't tell Oh, me. yeah, yeah, yeah. No, 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 sorry. I can All right. Forgive me. Now, now the thing was. Oh. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right, <laughs> they said gold bars on sale, damn it, like for now. This, if this is an ounce, this should be around two thousand dollars. They were selling it for like fifty bucks or something, like 20. it was like cheap. Right. And if you buy five of them, you get even a better deal. Yeah, yeah. I said, run that. I'll pay the I'll, I forgot how much I ended up paying for it, but I guarantee it was no more. It wasn't a hundred dollars. If it was, it's a hundred fifty something. Was it, if this was real gold, it's steel. I'm like, this ain't nothing. I bet you we need real gold. I will have to get a gold test and go test it, which I, I plan to do. But regardless of it, I'm going to put this on eBay because of the famous person name on it and advertise them each for $100. Mm. At the starting bit. Ooh. And then let Esau, who give a fuck about this famous person, <laughs> bid, and then hopefully I can make me a profit, which is why I, I thought of and if I did the test and it happened to be pure gold, even more, then I'm gonna keep it. But then that still can't. The t that's gonna test the outer, right? Right. The deceit of Babylon, which probably needs to fall, is what they do in ancient Rome. Let me say this is modern day Rome, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This is the new beast the, the, yeah. that came back alive, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What did Rome do in the past? Did not it change its weights and measures? Yep. It started uh, adding. Throwing additives in. Inferior metals mm -hmm. to its silver and its gold coins. Mm -hmm. So over time, people were getting less, and then they started seeing the difference in the way people start testing it. They start, they can break it open. Uh, and then that's what, then that, this happened when? To China. China had gold here in America. And they requested for the gold to come back. And America that? sent the gold back. And China tested the gold and found that the outer layer was gold, but the inside was not. Ooh, it was yeah. it was it was it was, gold, yeah. it was fool's gold or whatever. It was it was not gold. Right. Fool's gold, pyrite. It was just fool's gold. To uh, and it does do it very similar to gold. But if you know pyrite, you are not going to be confused with gold, because pyrite in its riches and its luster is not gold. Gold is not gold. If you know gold, pyrite you can get a fool. You know what I'm saying? Unless you got a really good pyrite. I ain't going to say you can't polish the shit out of anything. You probably it's can. Uh, but you look at it, if you know what gold ore looks like, you know what pyrite ore looks like, and you know what the polish is, you would normally know the difference unless you know to know, which is how they get you. But they try to get China. So Esau does those diverse ways and measures to, uh, to capitalize and get richer, and guess who falls? We do. So I'm going to test this and either way, I'm going to sell it because I really, if it's real, I'm going to keep it. But if it's not all real, I don't know how to test the inside without breaking this motherfucker down. Yeah. Uh, fast one. This is uh, Proverbs 20 and 10. Diverse weights and diverse measures. Both of them are alike abominations to the Lord. So the Lord really hates that, man. 
Uh, that, 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 and it's mentioned throughout the scriptures too, several times. That's wicked as all hell. Okay, but people they, they keep they, they do it in this world because Esau does it. Hey, as the king of Saul, the uh, king of subjects, man, but all the people, you know. All right. So they, 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 everybody's learning from Esau. All right, from 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 the low level east. Okay, to to, to Ham, to Ishmael, to the two third Jakes out here. They're all learning from E, man. Right. All right. He got he got he got something. In okay, come on. Where was this at? Second Peter. Um, he must be man. You had that too. I heard you call for it. Okay. Man. <laughs> <laughs> go go, Bob. You know what? We're gonna read down. We're gonna read briefly, and if unless it's a personal precept, let him read down two point play earlier. Because this, like, this is actually going to destruction mm -hmm. and, and, and oh, yeah. form of destruction oh. and, and showing warnings. See, the Most High has already given evidence. And I saw somebody not too long ago doing a video on Sodom and Gomorrah and how they they, uh, they did excavated mm -hmm. and they see that they found the layers and they found the so forth. And they start breaking down how cold the Most High fucked them motherfuckers up. And to this day, it should burn purple, the hottest color of fire, because it was, it was from the Lord. And this, we know this is evidence. You can go see this shit, and niggas don't believe. And for, like, to, I'm just thinking about it. And purple, you know, it represents royalty. Mm -hmm. You know, that's just you know just something to throw out there. That's crazy. Come on, man. Shit, man. How fire got a purple tint? <sighs> Fuck. I get that night before the motherfucker. Purple. Purple. purple fire. Purple fire. That's cold blooded, sloppy. I just mean. Right, so go ahead, brother. Uh, the second piece is too much to sell for me. Second Peter two and one, but there were false prophets also among the people, even as there shall be false teachers among you. Mm -hmm. So he's dealing with that now. Yep, he just talked about these mm -hmm. who privily shall bring in damnable heresies. And that's how they, they always uh, started off. Mm -hmm. All right, you had Nazariah do it mm -hmm. with the damn doctrine. All right, he started you know whispering into that brother, mm -hmm. his brother. All right. You know, behind it, and it, but and at the same time, we were saying, "Bro, that's not what that is," and we kept telling. Now we were young, we were the heads of the camp and so forth, but we were young, so we just tried to tell them, "No, that's not right. That's not. That's not scriptural, brother. That's off." Mm -hmm. um, no, we know now. We should have said, "Look, bro, if you keep saying that, you need to go." Mm -hmm. But we tried to labor with him. We loved them, and we had to learn that that's off. Because in a lot of this is content, I don't think I ever told anybody this, um, but I've taught this. I felt ashamed at the, uh, the, at the Passover when the elder uh, mentioned, uh, elder, elder Apostle Ha, uh, uh, about Dan and Dr. Buckley. Did you do that? He did tell him, he did say something about it, he did report it, but we didn't act upon it uh, as far as in ripping it and cutting it. You know, because we didn't we weren't seasoned and had the understanding at that time. Um, and then, uh, so Apostle Tara was like, Who said that? Uh, he was like, oh, it's the no <laughs> And he was like, uh, oh, start up! <laughs> and the was like, oh, shit. <laughs> you know, and then the spirit jumped on top of Tara. He was like, you know what? You know, uh, uh, we'll talk about it later. But whoever said that, <laughs> You know what I'm saying? That's all we need to be out of here. They get stopped. Did they suspended six months on that? Then no, you know, they start cussing and fuss. Then snapping. You know what I'm saying? And I feel cut because I'm sitting right over there and I got the whole rundown and I'm sitting as they've been laboring with the motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? And um, even now the riot had me even when the apostle put the car first visit and pulled me at some like, man, you a lion, you a lion, pun pun with that. So then I almost wanted to knock the motherfucker out. I had to be in the spirit. I was cool. I was like, bro, it's cool, man. I was like, I understand. I mean, it was like, yeah, because that's why you're in this thing a little bit too. But we, but no, the spirit got to build you up. That's why they're going back to wisdom, since that's part of the lesson. Yeah. Um, using wisdom, you uh, you use wisdom after learning wisdom. You have to learn wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. Wisdom, knowledge, and understanding just don't come to you. You got to go seek her. All right, Lord willing, before we wrap it up. Um, we will get to that wisdom of Solomon 6 I have on deck just about wisdom, but I'm, we're going to still finish this right now. But that uh, but that cut me, all right? But then that made me have to learn to start using wisdom and to not, it, start, it just made us grow up in the faith. You know what I'm saying? Knowing that uh, this, if you don't have wisdom in this faith, you don't use it, you don't apply these scriptures. Apostle Gabar says, 
if you uh, you really don't know a scripture until you go through the scripture. Mm. All right? You can know other things, but when you go through that same thing and it matches that scripture, then the depth or the depth starts to open up for you on that mm -hmm. issue versus someone who don't have a, a, any idea of it. All right? But when you have had, when you actually have to live it, then you have to eat. He said, you got to eat. Can you eat this cup? Can you drink of this cup? Jesus. All right? And we and that's what we've been. That's why we've been going through many crises as a people, as a nation. And as men of the Lord, we're drinking up this cup. Mm -hmm. be the most experienced and be the best teacher. And you have to go through the same shit that he went through, the same shit Paul went through, the same shit Job went through, the same shit uh, Noah went through. We all went by your life partakers of the suffering. So y'all, you're suffering and you're mad? Good. You should be mad. Especially at yourself. Because we guilty too. So, hey, then get right. All right? But back to that, I don't know if the Spirit jumped on that. That was from where we were meant for. Where it, it says, even denying the Lord that bought them and bring upon themselves swift destruction. That's how we got destroyed. It's the scriptures. It's right there. It's what it is. And that same swift destruction is about to come again. Right? And many shall follow their pernicious ways by Please destruction. If you don't know. Mm -hmm. and, and basically, that's uh, uh, your lust, man. Because mm -hmm. anything that's outside of um, these scriptures, all right, they, the, the guidelines of Yahweh, it all leads to death. You know, so and that's a lot of people they they, they go after the lust because it feels good in, in the present moment. Mm -hmm. All right, itching ears. It, it, it gets you off real quick. Yeah. And okay. a lot of these people, man, they know it's wrong too, man. What they do, but they're like a junkie. They gotta keep getting that hit. That you know what I'm saying to get that that, that high, that instant Don't gratification. Me. Yep, that instant gratification, man. Mm -hmm. All right, keep going, Arthur. You got it. Uh, it says by reason of whom the way of truth shall be evil spoken of. Yeah, and, and, and this truth, all right, is going to continue to get evil spoken of, and it's going to get worse and worse and worse. So we kind of went through this in class. Look, being an Israelite is not going to be a cool thing, because right now it's kind of cool, you know what I'm saying? You know, in, in a sense, you know what I'm saying? Because you got a lot of people out there that you know, talk about how they're Israel. You have, I'm, I'm going to use famous people, the Kodak Blacks. All right, the Kendrick Lamars, mm -hmm. all right, oh, yeah, yeah. the Stoudemire, so on and so forth, you know. But eventually, look, that persecution is coming, okay? Where it, 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 it's, it's not going to be, for lack of words, cool to be an Israelite, man, all right? You're going to be put in some really uncomfortable situations. Mm -hmm. And some of us are going to be put to death for calling on the names of Yahweh Hashim Shai, saying that we're Israelites. And preaching the downfall of this place. That's the reality of this thing. And people, hey, look, man, you brothers and sisters out there, you got to really have that embedded in your mind. This is first and foremost, Rose and myself, that we might die for this thing, okay? Mm -hmm. But so be it, because that, that's one, the Lord's will. And then two, hey, look, man, fuck this place, man. I got to keep saying that, man, because, mm -hmm. man, I, I got I to gotta embed it in my mind. Fuck this place. Right. It is terrible, okay? Everything's tainted hey, from, from your family to, to the money. Food. To the food, to the air, it's all tainted. Fuck this place. The world that we're, that's coming up, okay, that's that's fast approaching, is going to be pure, which is the kingdom. Yep. But we're not going to be crying anymore. There's going to be no more sorrows. All right. Well, 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 well you're going to actually be able to enjoy your children, your fucking woman, your your, your parents. Okay. That's what we're looking for. Uh, that, that's what our minds are, man. Okay. We're not stuck on Babylon. Okay. Babylon's going to be destroyed. That, that's facts, man. That's in the scriptures. And it's falling. Well, well, well you want to go... Uh, I don't even use myself for an example. Bro, I got, I got fucking two brothers, man. My one brother's a fucking moat. Okay, he's through. And then my other brother's got my fucking nephew in a fucking dress, man. That's the shit that I got to fucking deal with. And that, that's just some of the shit. I don't even want to go into all the other shit that I've been dealing with, man. But that's two things I can think of. Do I want to deal with that shit? That's... Man, bro, I got man. I made a Lord destroy this fucking place, man. Get the fuck out of here, man. Do you think I want to stay in this place? No. 
And now your brothers are going through all sorts of hardships, man. I have to say this now because you don't jump down in that second Peter. Salak, yeah. No, beautiful, no, brother. Salak in my ass. That was beautiful. That's you telling the truth, bro. That's the shit hurt. Now, I guarantee you, every brother got a sob story. I already know several brothers in here with their sob stories right now, and I know mine. All right? And every one of our shit matters, you know? And that's the reason why the Most High is coming, man. That's the reason why he's speeding it up. This is faster than I've ever seen in the truth. Prophecies coming like this and coming like that. Man, somebody. It's coming through, bro. And it's not going to slow down, man. Ain't no reverting, man. So we, and the brother's right, a lot of motherfuckers going to go through it, but I believe more of us is going to live and die before. Man. This is my own belief. Because he said, my servants should eat, they're going to be happy, they're going to be merry. He did some will be at the head. Mm -hmm. So we know that some, some going to get caught up and die. Some going to be in prison, the Lord said. All right? And then some going to be on the run. We don't know our particular lots and how it's going to fall. Right. But we do know that some of us is going to get caught up and beheaded. Some of us going to be got caught up and detained. Some of us are going to be on the outs, but persecuted, on the run, possibly. Who knows? It's going to be dynamic for every brother. But it's not going to be roses and peaches, yeah. you know, until the Lord give us that power. When the Lord gives us that power, all right, then the, then that's when, you know, we, the Lord's going to, we're going to be in one body and be one accord, all right? And we pray for the Lord to give us that power. We pray for the Lord to accept us and our offering to him because he's, this, everything that we're doing is an offering to the Heavenly Father. We're presenting our living, ourselves a living sacrifice. We've offered ourselves to the Lord. We put ourselves on the fire. So it's hot. All right, now, I, I do cringe every time I hear your brother say um, persecution is coming because I feel persecuted every day. Yes. Okay, but at the same time, that persecution, though, you were Israelite. How many people in this block know we're Israelites? <laughs> the whole block? <laughs> All right. I'm about to say just this block, this block. <laughs> they hear us. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? I wouldn't be surprised if someone on the other side of the, of the alley is too. Oh, yeah, yeah, definitely. All right. You know what I'm saying? Well, no, well, no, well you never know how it's going to be. Just because you can be persecuted and hated, you don't know how it's going to go. They yeah. might. They might not. You know what I'm saying? But uh, and, and, and but being demonized by them, it may, um, they're gonna, it's going to lead to us being off uh, that family of work and, yep. uh, and uh, us not being on the streets. You know? But they sit there, yeah. These Israelites, these motherfuckers, and we're the boomers, boom. Oh, well, we about to go, you know, start shit with them and they come in our face. No, we ain't doing all that shit, bro. He was telling the stories of what we used to have to go through with younger men. And uh, it doesn't happen too often, but it, you know, might happen not too recently. I don't know if I have to lay hands on us, uh, you know, stop until we paint our tactics. All right? We don't glory that shit. It's actually sad, man. But it proves that we're the men of the Lord. Because the, the same things happen to Yahweh Shem Yahushai. So we're going through the same thing. A lot of brothers are going to get uh, sequestered. Some of them are going to be beheaded. You know? And then some of them are going to dead. Because Esau can't control all this shit. He's control chaos. He's he going to try. But he ain't going to succeed. No, definitely not. All right? But being prepared to have to be on the move, be prepared to be caught up, be prepared for whatever the Lord will present you in by using wisdom, knowledge, and understanding with these scriptures. Make peace with thy adversaries and when thou quickly. Are, and quickly when thou was in the way with them. Mm -hmm. There's gonna be some brothers get caught up to be in the camp. And fuck you, be so fuck y'all don't give a motherfucker fuck, you stupid motherfucker, god damn it, beheading. And that's still the glorious beheading. And the Lord said it, prophesied it, he's a man of the Lord. He has the right to do that if the Lord put that in his spirit to do that. But if you have a level of wisdom to where that doesn't have to happen, you might be able to get out of that situation. Then you might be able to not get by it. You might be able to be uh, in prison for a moment then the chariots come. Mm -hmm. All right? But then again, you might be on a run. Then you might be on a run dealing with different scenarios, different people, different interaction. And if you sit up there, oh, man, I'm super Israelite, and we ain't got no power, and you're not using wisdom, you know, tell you a quick one, yes, sir. So we're going into that wisdom. Uh, this is uh, Proverbs chapter 23 and uh, verse, uh, let's get to the point 12. It says, Apply thy heart, meaning your mind, 
Scripture say, you know, just uh, you know, add on a couple things real quick. Scripture say, uh, don't be just a hearer of the word, but what a doer. Mm-hmm. Okay, so you gotta really apply what's written in these scriptures. Okay, he says it's forgetful here because there are times if you're not practicing it, you don't end up forgetting it. Mm-hmm. No matter what it is, if you don't, it's just like uh, somebody can know a language, uh, like my um, my wife's uh, her, her cousin. He came from uh, Japan, you know, and he was speaking that language fluently up until the age of like about uh, five or six. And when you start learning English, you fucking don't even know, remember he used to speak that language when he speak, spoke English. You know, if you don't practice something, you're going to end up losing it. Mm-hmm. 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 Right, did you get the word apply? Yeah, I got an etymology. Okay, and did somebody, did somebody get into Hebrew? Somebody get in, and no, that's for you. I push that. I got a quick one with the brothers find uh, that word for uh, apply. This is another uh, scripture. Proverbs 22 and 17. Bow down thy ear and hear the words of the wise and apply thy heart unto my knowledge. So the Lord ha- ha- emphasizes it multiple times in the scriptures. I believe there's actually another one in Sirach as well. Apply to the what? The knowledge? Mm-hmm. And the one alone keep applying to the instruction. Mm-hmm. So if you follow the instruction, you get the knowledge. If you get the knowledge and, and it collects and, and you get deep into the knowledge, you gain the wisdom. All right? But it has to be a collection of knowledge. You can be knowledgeable in one thing, that don't mean you're wise. Yeah. You're wise, you got to be knowledgeable in a whole lot of things. You gotta and fruit. apply it. Yep. And you got to ask wisdom. I was going to say, you got to be prudent. Yes. Which means you got to have foresight. You got to basically anticipate things. Mm-hmm. You got to you gotta be like a chess player. Yeah. All right, you know what? Well, you, you think about several different moves that that can happen if you move. Th- you know, several different uh, scenarios can happen if mm-hmm. I move it to the right, to the left. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? You got to think like that. Hey, well, you, well, this, 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 this ain't uh, 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 this is chess, not checkers, nigga. You know what was that? In fucking uh, 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 was it training day? You know, that's what he told. Uh, was it Denzel? Uh, I can't remember. Uh, 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 Alonzo told. Uh, what was that one dude? Keeping yeah. 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 What was his name? It was Jake too? Right? If I'm not mistaken. Yeah. yeah. Well, Jake yeah. is the number one name of all actors. In, you know. In, in, in Hollywood. Yeah, that's true. So that's what he that's told true. him, man. You got to yeah. think like that. You can't be playing checkers, man. This is chess, baby. That's right. That's right. That's right. And, I, and as a chess player, I can feel that. And as a checkers player. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Because they're two different games. And they both complex games, too. You can, then checkers is a joke, but you can, it's actually a strategy yeah. and a game to that game. Yeah. Well, but it's a different level to the shit. You know? Yeah, um, who got the word? Uh, uh, it's it's, 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 it's several it's different it. definitions, because um, the, the one he just read, it was a different one. Uh, this is one, uh, Shaya. Uh, is that Hebrew? Yeah. Well, he break the one in uh, Edamon. Right? So he didn't uh, read it. Yeah, he was yeah. in Hebrew. Okay, yeah. It's like three different ones, like the one you had read before, and the other one, those are two different what words. Is what is this one? It says, uh, to put, lay, lay, upon, lay hand upon. To put. To put something, you have to have something to place somewhere, right? Uh, you can't put something if I ain't got it in my hand. Put, to put, what's it say? Put, or what else? To set, station. A point. Let's start it again, buddy. Uh, Salafia. To put, set. To put, lay, as in hand, hand upon. It says to set, station, point, fix, set the mind to. It says to constitute, make, as you want something, you know, you're making something. It says make light, perform, to take one to stand, to lay waste. Wow, well, damn. That's a lot. To apply, wait a minute. To apply, lay waste. You know, that's applying. So the Lord's going to apply a beat down, lay waste to Esau. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Uh, right? 
That's a lot. Okay. Uh, was there more? Uh, to be imposed, to be set upon. To be set upon, to place, to put. He said, no, what is it? To put your hands on, to apply, to lay hold on. Okay? So the Lord say, lay hold on knowledge. Hold on. It's mm -hmm. a lot to go to. Instruction, come here. What is this instruction? Mm -hmm. Find the law fashion and find the law. Because I know it's the law fashion. It's in the Bible. Why do I need to talk about it? The Israelites, I'm going to find out about it. And they go, oh, the Israelites are supposed to be loving people. Oh, wow. Are we everybody the same? And we have these motherfuckers. What I got to do now? Oh, you need to go ahead and read. You need to relearn everything. God damn. Okay, there's a lot of love. I ain't never read the Bible. I don't even understand old English. Don't worry about it. You got study around. You're going to get you put on. You got to be over. You start reading. The Lord's going to build you up. And next thing the brother starts doing it double time. The brother gets built up in the spirit and follows that instruction. The next thing you know, after he's getting that instruction, he starts getting that knowledge, wisdom, and understanding. And that's how he comes into his understanding. And he do the work of the Lord. All right? And he live it and he start applying it. Because he put his hand on it. He never even let go of knowledge, wisdom, and understanding. All right? Once you go to yourself, Next thing you know, it's all about me. It's all about you. I mean, it's not about you. It's all about me. Oh, I believe this. Am I an elder too? Mm. You know, um, Pooh Bear said, you know what I'm saying? He said, am I an elder too? Just because he was, you know, he got promoted to being a bishop. And when I'm like, brother, you just, the fuck? Well, it might be, uh, you're a young you, bishop. You, what the you, fuck? Right, he just came into the crew. Just like I played, and I, and I told him this. I'm like, uh, and you, you, you can't play for the, the Chicago Bulls and probably make the team, and it's time for the team captain to make the speech, and you're going to tell Michael Jordan, hold on, Mike, I got this. Look, guys, this is what we need to do. <laughs> this motherfucker, uh, what? You know what I'm saying? Well, ain't I, I'm going to tell him a player. Yeah, but you're going to have to let the, the, the head elders, they'll teach you. Using wisdom is allowing another man to teach you. Yeah. And then not understanding but trusting Yahweh and Yahweh trusting the scriptures, and being patient for the Lord to make it make sense while the Lord is saying what he's saying through his men. And uh, situations even like that, with, uh, you know, Pooh Bear, like that, that's like you telling your son because he did a good job, oh, yeah, you know you're the man in the house when I leave, and then, you know, this man actually starts calling himself the man in the house when you're there. Like, uh, yeah, so you roll, you, you've done a good job at certain things, but now you're starting to get beside yourself to where you're changing rules. You 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 you're trying to say that you run things. You know, you're not doing what I said. Yeah, mommy and daddy gotta give me candy. And then like, oh, like you're right. Like and, and you're supposed to be the one that's still listening. Like, yes, it should be appreciated that you were exalted a brother of below the grief, but you're not appreciating that in, in humility. You're appreciating that I need more. I need I need to I need this top seat. Like, who is this? I'm a, I'm an older too. Priest to priest. Yeah. Well, uh, like like Yaku always say uh, about uh, was it DJ Hata or whatever Sakari? Yeah. Right? Um, from second in command to second in command <laughs> about Papa Do uh, yeah, uh, you know we ants? The Lord call us worms. All right. We 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 are we're defenseless, man. We the Esau is ready to kill us, man. Best thing to do is stay humble. Best thing to do is continue to study. All right, you study in multiple ways by reading, all right, building lessons and going through scriptures, all right, watching videos, okay, um, watching the elders. You had to watch them all the time because they do so many videos. It, you, 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 set, you put them on a the timeline, go over to that page, go through them, listen to the elders, not only the elders and apostles, but the elders of different camps yeah. periodically. You know what I'm saying? And follow the spirit to different brothers. Now I just, now if something pops up and the spirit to see, I can, you know, can see it. Jump up in there. You might not go to, if it's an hour long lesson, you might get 10, 15, 20 minutes, you get the spirit of it. You know, because we just one body. This is what we got. Mm -hmm. And this is really to younger men. Okay? You can deal with younger men who uh, have not been yet built up to being on a spiritual level, but you got the basics now. You know what I'm saying? You understand the breakdowns now, but you have now you don't have experience, okay? You stay in them scriptures. You stay in them videos. What is this too? Don't let knowledge puff you up. Yes. Because if we, yes. you know, start with Elder right on down in this room, man. We, we've seen people come and go. And what always happens, man, hmm. all these fallouts, 
what happens is they, they learn a couple precepts and they think they're on a level. All right? And, 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 and look, man. Look, pride is a hell of a demon. It's a hell of a drug, man. Okay? And look, I'm telling you, man, I've seen it, you know, multiple times. The second that pride comes in, a motherfucker doesn't last, man. Okay? It's a slippery slope. And it's like a, you know, that, that, that snowball going down the, the so hill. Thing, yeah. Starts off small, and then eventually that thing is huge. And then they're just through, man. Gone. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. Dead. All right? First, it, it, it starts off spiritually. Mm -hmm. That oil, all of a sudden, it, it, it just starts leaking. Spewing out, spewing out, man. Depending on who you are. Coming against the false counsel. Got all the brothers. Uh, it, it just but then say you yeah. don't have all the brothers. Mm -hmm. hey, well, Multiple brothers it. are telling you, oh, you, you got all with this, this, this brother. No, I don't, Hawk. I'm cool. Why, why, why all of a sudden, no, not all of a sudden, why, why do you keep having issues with this particular man then? Yeah, it's a waste of whatever. Uh, hey, get the fuck out of here, though. You, you got a damn demon on you. But, but no, they're not going to listen to no. All of a sudden, hey, you, he, <laughs> this fucking guy, so lucky. Now, man, why does the spirit keep getting on this fucking ass? Because it's because because the judgment fuck, time. man? See, this is judgment time, brother. Because I'm just thinking, you got all these men. He don't say, say, oh, these are all the men of the Lord. These are my elders, right? And all of a sudden, all the elders and all the hey, your, your bigger brothers are telling you, hey, don't, hey, th th this is what's going on, blah, 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 blah. All of a sudden, we're all wrong, though. Every single one of us is wrong, and we're not men of the Lord now. Get the fuck out of here, man. Man, the Lord's gonna fucking kill you, motherfuckers, man. I gotta put it out there, man. And I don't care if he's watching. The Lord's gonna fucking kill you, Pooh Bear. And I said it again. You're just, Fuck you, man. You're just a Pharisee. Just... <laughs> That's your regret, motherfucker. You know, you know, it made the made most most I, and who knows who knows most I have this. But I tell you right now, if you don't, you continue on this path, man. You ain't gonna be good. Mm -hmm. That's why the Lord got him still um, cussing his ass out. Fuck him. You know what I'm saying? Because I really don't even have to think. I don't even think about it like that. You know what I'm saying? It just comes out every time. I'm like, fuck, man. Like, I don't even want to think about this dude, but it just keeps it's coming out. No, I, I've mentioned it periodically through the spirit. Because you can't help it. This is part of, what's that, Peter? The sculptors? Will wow. come in the last days? Is that the same chapter? Yeah, uh, third, I think it's third. Get it, Art. Yeah. Um, well, well, hey, it, top ropes. Get if, it. If anybody is watching, if he's watching this, it, Boy, to keep on coming out, you man, he's already love this nigga, man. He he bullshitting. That's a, play kick. Exactly. Mm -hmm. it, it's a sign that you should repent, man. And if you don't, well, he ain't man. got no beef. He, with the stuff that we did for him, he know what we've done for him. He can't say shit. And he know we've been brotherly. He know I've been. He know I talked to him on three or four different occasions because I saw through the spirit where the motherfucker was headed, man. And I kept telling him to slow down. I told him, once matter of fact. Remember when he left his wallet and ran yeah. out of here real fast? Day, basically, we saw him. Well, well, that, well, well, yeah, well, that was the last day, like well, physically well. seeing him. That was the last day, and that Sunday, that was Thursday. That yeah, Sunday, that's when he uh, yeah. decided to leave, man. Yeah. What did I tell him? Uh, yeah, slow down, man. I told him, slow down. Calm down. I said, slow down, bro. You really need to slow down. I said, bro, you, you know, and I, and I try to be brotherly, and I express to him I, as much as I can. Because you can't make nobody do right, bro. Right. But we follow the spirit of the elders, man. They said, give them another fuck enough vote, and they're going to do what? Hey, so, 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 so what did he do? He put the rope on his noose and jumped off. That's oh, right. Yeah. And we fought to do what's right that guided him in the way he should go. But he's got a better doctrine. So <laughs> good luck, because if he's right, we're going to be here for another 20, 30 years for everybody to come under his gospel and doctrine. For him to wake up to three souls, to wake up five souls, to wake up ten souls, to wake up fifteen souls, to wake up thirty souls, to wake up a hundred souls, to wake up two thousand souls. That shit takes time. The ministry of the elders and the apostles he started from Abba, uh, Elder Abba uh, uh, Bibbins, mm -hmm. all right, back in the 50s or so, or uh, when he, I believe, the, the 60s. I know, I definitely know he was in the 60s. But I don't remember when he left the commandment keepers to come over, like the specific month. But he was already teaching and following and in there before the, you know, he came into the fullness of the understanding. So that's all I'm saying. I don't know when he really came, uh, if he started, because he, if he came to the understanding in the 40s, I forgot how old he was, because I know he died in the 60s or uh, 60s or 70s or something like that. So, and he was an older man. 
So he had been bo born early in 1900. So if he was teaching, he found out in the 20s or the 30s, he might have been telling people when he was Israelite from for, for 40, 50 years. Right? We don't know. I don't know. He might have learned it when he was 30. He might have learned it when he was 40. I know by the time he was preaching for at least 20 years, all right, because we know for sure it was during at least the 50s and 60s and, the, and partially the 70s, I think, early 70s, whatever time. I don't know. The, I'm not a you know, historian, or, but the oldest knows. It, but, but, but the point I'm making is he's been teaching this word and teaching our people for the Israelites. All right? And from that time to this time is how what you see, it took what? Let's say the 60s. 70s, 80s, 90s, 2000s, 2010, 60 to 70 years. My whole thing, are you ready for that? I don't know this guy ain't ready. He couldn't even deal with a couple brothers in this camp. You ready for 2,000 brothers to follow you? You know what I'm saying? Plus, you know what I mean? Yeah. This guy didn't, didn't want to deal with brothers in the camp, just asking them basic questions, trying to you know, break a little bit of bread. He was always running away from responsibility. Man, he said, fuck that guy. Man, he said, uh, so basically, breakfast from Malcolm, whether he can get him up there, he can get the bus or something. Man. First, he's talking about getting a ride. Well, he, 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 I've heard so many stories, man, over after this, you know, what happened. Your spirit was not right. And that's the thing. Use wisdom. A wise man knows when he's slipping. So if you catch yourself violating something with your spirit, but instead of justifying it, attack it. And, and confront yourself. The scripture says, uh, confess your faults. Mm -hmm. I fucked up. You know, it's a lot of people like, I, I fucked up. I, I didn't use wisdom. This happened. And I just don't come to the truth. And confess. That's going to be the best thing to do. Because the Lord will heal you. And he will bring you back into good standing eventually. Sometimes it might just be a simple, man, let's get the fuck up. Let's get a simple cut out. But it might be, no, man, you need to take a couple of weeks of scripture, you know, or more. So we just hope and pray that those things don't happen. But if you're applying your mind and your soul and making sure you're keeping under your body, the scripture says, uh, he did not write with his tongue. When it's the, uh, one of the smallest members of the body, but causes so much destruction and so much wrath, right? Just like the small helm of a ship controls the whole ship, all right? That's the scripture. We have to control our spirits, our tongues, our, uh, and I'm talking about going, knowing that what we're about to go through. We don't know what situation we'll be in. As a matter of fact, I might want to do a lesson on this. Um, take the spirit of Yahweh Shai. Did he fight them? Did, did he uh, cuss him out? Did he? No, when they came. Did he cuss them out at all? No. But at one point, he didn't say shit. No. No. And then they started all these questions. Going about, Are you this person? But the building down, say it. Right. Did he say so? See what I'm saying? All right. So he said, No, uh, no railing for railing. You know, you know what I'm saying? Right. Not reviling again. Right. So the Lord is really t t teaching us to really temper. Our spirits and not be overly affected by none of this bullshit that we're in being balanced he was wisdom and discretion and every since matter of fact this is the time because we're going to end up wrapping up give me wisdom of Psalm 6 after okay. 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 because a lot of other scriptures we can send yeah. to you you know yeah. and just we, we'll be here all night yeah, yeah. and trust me I don't mind we, back in the day we did this this is all we did all day this is we yeah. were doing lessons and learning and going through having spiritual conversation Immerse yourself in the men of the Lord. Right? And immerse yourself in this truth. Immerse yourself. Well, that's how you get out of it. Right? While it's still available. Yeah. All right. Because, uh, can I, so what was that ad called that, uh, with the TikTok? Uh, it had nothing to do with TikTok. What was it? Um, bro, Salakis. So like There's a particular bill being passed. I can't remember the exact name. Mm -hmm. Salakis. So like what, what was it called? I think it was, I don't know. Oh, whatever, so whatever it's called, I forgot the exact bill, right? I will we'll look it up. But um, basically, it's uh, um, having the government, you know, regulate what's being put out on the internet. 
put on social media and all that. And mm -hmm. with that all being said, these videos aren't going to be out there like that. It's not going to be on YouTube. It's not going to be on TikTok. All right. It's not going to be on a, 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 a what is it, Twitter, mm -hmm. Facebook, etc. That stuff is going. Hey, if I might add, um, they no, said they said uh, 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 if you try to change your VPN to say that you're in a different country and they find out you got TikTok and so-called TikTok and whatever, they said they will, uh, th they can find you a lot of money or put you in prison for like, I think it was like five to maybe 20 years or something like that. It's called the Restrict Act. Oh, Restrict. Okay, you know? Yeah. All right? That's a restriction. You know, so <laughs> point being though, this, this word is not going to be readily available to you. Yeah. So get it while you can, man. Yep. Seek the Lord while he may be found. That's right. Make uh, no tearing to turn to the Lord. Mm -hmm. Get this now because it, it, this stuff is happening, man. It, it, before you know it, next thing you know, it, it, he saw the dollar's going to be crashing. Mm -hmm. All hell's yes. breaking loose. Mm -hmm. Martial law is in effect. Yep. Okay? Yep. And it's whatever, it, it's whatever you have with God, you know, whatever oil you have. And, and you know your, your works and your faith and how about Shemal Shah? That's it, man. That's it. That's all you get. That's all you got. So get as much as you can, you know. And then you got a lot of people out there that, that just, hey, dog, I'll get I'll get to it tomorrow. All right, I'll get to it next week. Tomorrow, man, man, so. exactly, man. Hey, but it says such rejoicing is, is evil, man. You know, and that's what these people do in this world. It, it's so silly. That proves that that's the reason why they don't understand. Well, the Lord is the reason why they don't understand uh, his will. But that alone should teach you his will that you don't have a fucking will, man. All right? The day to day is the most high plan. Don't die. Yeah. I, I wish I could. <laughs> I could only pray to the Lord on that. So I'm just saying, but if you talk about if you got a will, <laughs> then don't die. Yeah. Don't, don't hurt. Right. <laughs> don't have pain. Shit, it's your will. Grief, <laughs> well, that you say, don't well then you ain't, you ain't got you ain't in control. Yeah. yeah. Hey, the Lord said oh, something about uh fuck? hey not one of you get add a keeper to his to your statue. That means you don't have the will to do shit. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> and but then he said changing your statues, but I'm like, hmm. Exactly. That's so if you would get that spiritual back body and then the spiritual, you know, that you know, angelic body, you know, and then the spiritual understanding. But um, uh, so I'm going to hit uh, to I'm going to read down in wisdom because this is the views of wisdom. This is to the real men of the Lord. This is to a, this was uh, uh, from wisdom of Solomon, which is how we're trying to read incarnation. Uh, to um, the the elect, to the hundred forty four hopeful. All right. Hear therefore, O ye kings. Can you call it out? So wisdom of Solomon six. Yeah. Hear therefore, O ye kings, and the Lord calls us kings in Revelation. Mm -hmm. So he said, you, you, you shall be prophets I mean, and, uh, and uh, priests and kings. Mm -hmm. Somebody get it real quick. That's a, that's, that's a declaration. No, 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 no. <coughs> if you get it, let me know. Hear therefore, O ye kings, and understand. Learn that from the name of hold your knowledge, mm -hmm. then hold your instruction. Proverbs says, uh, incline thine ear. Every time I hear that, it makes me think that my ear is like a satellite and doing like one of these things and, 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 and holding in to whoever got the knowledge, wisdom, and understanding of Yahweh Shah. All right? Where are the steps to this door? I got that for you. Okay. This is uh, Revelation 1. I'm going to start at 5. And from Yahweh Shai, Hamashiach, who is the faithful witness and the first begotten of the dead, and the prince of the kings of the earth. Mm -hmm. Unto him that loved us and washed us from our sins in his own blood. So these kings of kings, Lord of Lords, mm -hmm. as the scripture says, right? And hath made us kings mm -hmm. and priests unto Yahweh and it's his father. It's nothing to do with the son. Mm -hmm. So if we were kings being declared, that then we were already we were kings from the beginning. Yeah, the book of Ecclesiastes says that as well. We're uh, a nation of kings and priests. Yeah. Or not Ecclesiastes, like uh, Exodus. Also says it in Revelation as well. Uh, it's still throughout the scripture. You know? And it says, uh, Unto him that loved us, O Slaki, to him be glory and dominion forever and ever. Amen. All right? And that's what's going to happen very soon. Mm -hmm. The Yahweh Shai is going to, uh, 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 you know, reclaim, you know, his crown. Okay? That's He's going right. to be the king of kings, as you said. All right? 
Lord of Lords, and he, he's, he's going to uh, reign forever. Because the, the next kingdom that's coming, it's going to be a world without end. I think you mentioned it, if I'm not mistaken. It was in class. I know a brother mentioned it, Salaki, a lot was going on. Okay? You know? And then that Daniel, <laughs> then that who came to the ancient of days. Yeah, and who mm -hmm. was given dominion. Yeah, and power. Yeah, everlasting. Yeah, he's got that. And then he makes it part. See, even in this uh, that scripture, it's this theos right there. So we're going to be a part of that God order. Where it says God and the Father. So we, we're going to be a part of that, you know, the... Uh, uh, Lower level God, own up to the most high God, man. Scripture say we're joint heirs. Yeah. 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 When, when he comes back, he should be as he is. Yeah. So That's we will have power. We're going to be, have angelic power. And we will have access and under download. And then you don't have to be like me. Though. Oh. Now I can. No, it's going it's to be complete. Right? What, what do you want to learn today? Well, download me Chinese. You know, it ain't going to be all that. We're going to understand all that shit. Right. And that's what you saw. I was trying to get to what they talking about in the year twenty thirty that uh, the uh, immortality will be uh, uh, basically forever. That that's, that's not happening with him. That's gonna be true, but with us, because that shit that Esau was trying to do, even even the fucking niggas was in the comments like, yeah, I don't want a eternity of this because this ain't life. <laughs> this ain't life. We will actually have this eternal life. life. <laughs> this ain't living, man. Right. You know, we're about to actually come into an immortality to where, guess what? All the people that fought against this, except for Esau, and the kingdom will be like, damn, we, this is what y'all, this is, damn, we, we ain't shit. Right. <laughs> See, but we're supposed to be the kings, and we're supposed to understand. There's even in the law that we were supposed to rewrite the law and became the king. So you, you write, you're supposed to write some scriptures. So we have known some scriptures and live by the scriptures. That's a law. That's how mighty the law of the, 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 the most high is, man. Look at you. Think, all right, King. <laughs> good. <laughs> uh, get some, all right, give him some writing. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> exactly, exactly. You're right, 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 right. right. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. Uh, he says, Hear therefore, O ye kings, and understand. Learn ye that be judges of the ends of the earth. And guess where we are right now? All right, mm -hmm. all right. And so this is this this is how you know this is a prophecy that was directly affecting us right now. Okay, this is talking to us. Are we at the end of the earth? He says yeah. that be judges of the end. Who the judges right now? Us. We are. We judge one another. Mm -hmm. All right, and we judge Esau, mm -hmm. Keisha. <laughs> the, uh, the two thirds, yeah. all right. The the heathens, righteous judges, all right. And we, we we prophesy and we obey the will of the Lord. Mm -hmm. We're the judges, okay. Right. He said, "Give ear, ye that rule the people, and glory in the multitude of nations, for power is given you of Yahweh, the Hashem, the shine, and sovereignty from the highest." Who yeah, shall sure. right, make a point real quick? Sovereignty meaning your freedom is from your how about you now, Shai. You can't buy it yourself. So you guys, what these people talking about generational wealth? Still did. These niggas just get LLCs, land. Oh, sinking ship. Yeah, sinking ship in a kingdom that's not yours. That's true. Goofy yeah. as hell. Yeah. Yeah. That's what Jake's doing. They think they're all smart now. Like they know a couple things that Esau's been doing right. since the fucking. Since they started this kingdom, oh. now, now they know they got the you know uh, the little bit of knowledge of this world. And they're like, oh, this, 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 and that. While looking fucking retarded, man. Got tattoos everywhere, dreads, yeah. Yeah. Right, long hair, yeah. fucking yeah. looking like a bunch of degenerates. Yeah. Man, fuck, man, man, fuck Jake, man. Hey, man. But you, you you wouldn't know how to rule a kingdom if the Lord gave it to you, man. I'm saying the typical two thirds, man. They'll be gone, man. Yeah. They'll get into an argument and shoot each other. Hey man, the definition of insanity is doing the same thing, expecting different results. You don't realize niggas that tell you about Black Wall Street, but then turn around and say, "Let's buy land, let's do this, let's do that, do our own thing." Like, nigga, the shit get bombed. Exactly. And and, and things are so exactly. fucking bad right now. Exactly. Like we said in Matthew's twenty fourth chapter, man, no flesh should be uh, on this earth. It's this shit continues, man. Right. Yeah. 
Like everything, bro, everything is through, man. The glaciers and shit is almost melted all the way down, bro. Then you got, uh, uh, what's that, carbon dioxide or whatever they say is in the fucking air and shit. Then it's like everybody had died. The trees getting cut down. We get oxygen from that, too. And then the ocean is fucking polluted. Motherfuckers eating shrimp and catfish and everything that's supposed to clean shit. Everything is so fucking out of course. That's right, bro. Not so all like, the bro. foundations of the work, no, work are out of course. Yeah. Over it, man. Ramsack. <laughs> shit. Over. Hey, <laughs> king shit over no, the nah. Yeah. King shit over the rim. Did you get that? I gotta go to my the one I I put the seed in right. you. If you can't understand, if I didn't put that, you would not have had that. Right. If you could have got that from anybody else, that would have been cool because you would have had that. Right. From them. But that came from me. Yeah. This is mine. Yep. And yours together. That's how it's supposed to. That's not, that's wrong now. That's wrong. Because if you don't do it, that means it's wrong. Fuck her. Him. Them. They. Who the fuck ever. And fuck that man who didn't want to in that. And that is despised here now in America. And I'm the fool. That's why I say I'm still first too, but I'm first in a lot of different ways, and we all are. All right, but it's gonna be a greater one. So we just gotta be prepared for the bullshit. Yeah. All right. But back to that word sovereignty, preeminence, meaning authority, rule, supremacy of power, or rank. Sovereign. Early 14th century, a person's great, superior, supreme, having supreme power. From old friend Sauron, highest supreme chief, from vulgar Latin, superanus, chief, principal. From Latin, super, over, and, uh, uh, and then I guess uh, uh, over uh, uh, potent in a high degree. Yeah, super uh, it was like over in a high de- oh, over potent in a high degree. <laughs> that's the highest, and we're the children of the highest. That's right. And that's why that scripture says uh, about sovereignty. And it's right here. Power is given to you of the Lord and sovereignty from the highest who shall try thy, try your works and search out your counsels. And that's the reason why we also go through it. Because we have to learn, like I was mentioning earlier. I had to learn. I made mistakes. I got puffed up before. Though. You know what I'm saying? Right. And the Lord had to cuss my ass out. Alright? It's, 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 you you got to go through these ups and downs, man. Mm-hmm. Alright? I remember Elder Manhattan's eyes. He was like, oh, brother, you got pride in you. I'm like, what? Because I wasn't trying. But then I started examining it. Like, God damn, I started seeing flesh. And then that was the first time I noticed it. And I had to, through the spirit, I had to go through some shit to get all that shit out of there. You know? But we all have our personal battles. We all have our. Uh, <coughs> uh, we all have we all have our, 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 our so called perverse demons that we have to deal with, okay. But the ultimate goal of these trials and this kind of this uh, these trying your works is to do what to search out are you getting this counsel to the understanding of the most high? Are you going to be a righteous judge? Are you going to be a righteous king? Are you going to be a righteous power? Are you going to sell everything out that you have in this world for me and my way? If that's that's your end counsel, that's what the Lord is trying to see. Really, then are you in that path? A just man follows seven times to get back up again. All right. So because this is what we have the wisdom to know that and stay on this path, because being ministers of His kingdom, ye have not judged aright. 
nor kept the law, nor walked after the counsel of God. Because there's a great falling away. We fall, we all fell away. All right, and we all did despicable shit. All right, once you guilty, you guilty, we ain't guilty of the all of, of them all. Mm-hmm. So we we uh, all of our righteousness is as a filthy rag. We all fall short of the glory of God. All right, it's the scriptures. So we have to understand this that yes, we kings, but that doesn't mean we get a free pass. All right, uh, it says uh. Horribly and speedily shall he come upon you, for a sharp judgment shall be to them that be in high places. So if you say about seeking the high place, you end up wanting to be the man, you want a guy to be, you know, you want that place? Go ahead, okay. All right, sit your ass down, quit you as men, sit, be, be still, do this work. All right? For mercy will soon pardon the meanest, but mighty men shall be mightily tormented. <laughs> That's good. Mighty men shall be mightily tormented. All right? That makes me see things like a big ass linebacker sitting on the ground crying. You know what I'm saying? One of them seven foot goddamn basketball monsters, you know, you know, you know, wallowing in the dirt, screaming and running down the street. You know what I'm saying? Can't dunk his way out of that. All right? Dunk his way out of some fire. <laughs> I didn't know that today. I didn't know that. Uh, well, it's fucked up. Uh, they stay there and horrible. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but a sore trial <laughs> shall come upon the mighty. Unto you, therefore, O kings, do I speak, that ye may learn wisdom and not fall away. For they that keep holiness holily shall be judged holy. And they that have learned such things shall find what to answer. Wherefore, set your affections upon my words, mm. desire them, and go on that, and ye shall be instructed. The knowledge of instruction. Wisdom is glorious and never fadeth away. Yea, she is easily seen of them that love her, and found of such as seek her. Mm-hmm. So you have to seek her. You have to go look at these videos. Mm-hmm. You got to read these scriptures. You got to go look at the articles. You got to go watch the news. You got to listen to them goddamn boring ass podcasts sometimes to, to get some understanding to see what's going on in the fucking world. He said, watch as well as pray. All right. So we have to live these scriptures. Uh, Wisdom is glorious and never fades away. Yea, she is easily seen of them that love her and found of such as seek her. She presenteth them that desire her and making her himself first known unto them. See, I used to have a uh, uh, you know, he's teaching parables and he also teaching uh, similitude. But you know, the wisdom was that girl, you know, you've been trying to get, you know what I'm saying, for all all semester. Yeah. You know, then over break she came back thicker than ever. And you and then you start seeing her flirting and different guys coming move move to wait a minute, I might make a move and I gotta let this thing hold on. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And he's, he's catching one time out of class and just like showing you don't need to talk to me. You want to talk to me? So what's it? So you want to try to start talking? So she said, "Okay, we can talk." So the Lord starts talking. Okay, we can talk. You want to meet the Lord? You want to come to the street? Okay, let's see what's up. Now, wisdom. You think wisdom is going to be like, "Oh, look, yeah, I'm gonna tell you all my secrets," yeah. and she gonna fuck you right away? No, it'll walk, oh, oh, oh no, these are the days that we talk about. Ooh, it's the day through. <laughs> but you know, back in the day, it was not like that, right? And so you had to work at that shit. You know what I'm saying? Even then, you still have to work at that shit, right? So the first girl be like, wisdom will do this to you. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And you got to bug. You got to call. Hey, well, come on now. I ain't coming up. My mama said I can't come outside. Don't go out now. I don't know I'm going to do my homework. I know I'm doing my God to do. I'm doing my nigga last time. You know what I'm saying? But at the same time, she'll talk your ear off sometimes and tell you a little secret here or there. Whistle one thing or there, but don't give you the whole nine. Yeah. All right? But then the more that you deal and persistent that you was are right, getting for wisdom, next thing you know, she's like, so what's up? Where are we going? <laughs> and it's like, what do you mean? We're going to go out with that? Okay, shit, come on. Let's call. We get in it. And then you should stay there. We'll be there. You try to do this. <laughs> 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 and she'd be like, uh-uh, stop. 
And then they do all these things, you know. And I'm saying, so then eventually, you know, eventually he gets over there. And he gets, see, wisdom, and I'm using, we used to, we did it all the way up until where she was flipping the pool, you know, we find a kid and then give you food. But, you know, for time's sake, you got to, you see where it's going. Uh, wisdom, one of the, is, is, wisdom don't fuck with you right away. It takes time and experience, all right, and understanding and knowledge. That's why it's so important to consume the whole room. And it's important to uh, understand. All right? It's all I can do is to know. As best as you can. Sure. And if you have a problem, ask the brother. You, you, sometimes you got to go back to your notes. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. All right? <laughs> but the bottom line is uh, keep fighting, man. We are cursing the righteous out. All right? Uh, verse 14. Whoso seeketh her early shall have no great travail. But he shall find her sitting as it is for and she's going to give it to you, all right? To think, therefore, upon her is with perfection of wisdom. Get up. <laughs> Whoso watching for her shall quickly be without care. For she goeth about seeking such as, to know, let me get back to that one, to think upon their, slide again. Uh, to think, therefore, upon her is perfection mm -hmm. of wisdom. All right, so if you're trying to get wisdom and be meditating on wisdom's ways, is the perfection of wisdom because that's how you get it. That's what perfects wisdom and makes wisdom what it is perfect. It perfects wisdom. <laughs> it's perfect. Perfect. And whoso watches for her shall quickly be without care. Because once you understand, fuck all this shit. What did you say? Fuck this place. Oh yeah, yeah. fuck this place. And what you see early, this place gotta go. Fuck you, 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 you. I think I snapped off one of the motherfuckers. That's that's neither neither voice of the Lord. This is the Lord snapping off this motherfucker. He want this place, man. He wanted more than we do. Oh yeah. Don't you know he deserves glory and honor and praise from his sons, his daughters, his people. For all he's done for us, he didn't have to make us, let alone Israelites, let alone his children. We're just him. You know what I'm saying? That's how you have to think of his truth. You have to really understand that this is mercy, a gift, the greatest gift is giving his truth and being an Israelite. That's mercy. What can I do for you? You know what I'm saying? And get this truth, man. To think, therefore, upon her is the perfection of wisdom, and whoso watches for her shall quickly be without care. He doesn't give a fuck about nothing. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Some things going to still bother you. Going back to that Peter, um, Vex righteous lot from day to day. Yeah. All right? But this is how you get to the end. Of, and later on in that, it said, but this is as the entrance to the kingdom. All right? You learn how to let go, like, the scriptures teach you that there's more than this present evil world. And the things that you are going to lose, you're going to gain in the kingdom and then some. Exactly. You know, so you, even though, yeah, it hurts at that present moment when you do lose things or when you're going through afflictions, but you know that there's a, 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 a you know, a world to come that's, you know, full of peace, tranquility, all right, and where, where happiness is. That's right. Well, for she goeth about seeking such as are worthy of her. Showeth her so favorably unto them in the ways, in their ways, whether, whether, whether they live, move, and have their being, in your walk, in your walk of faith and life, and etc. Right. That's why the Lord keep getting us out of these goddamn jams. Because he be, I man, they be swerving and burning because there's always another hustle, hustle another uh, uh, obstacle, another mm -hmm. fucking aggravation. All right? Too much tribulation into the kingdom of heaven. Mm -hmm. That's right. But he, but the outcome, the Lord starts working it through, and the ultimate outcome is bringing her to understanding the wisdom and getting into the kingdom. Mm -hmm. All right? Unto them in ways and meeteth them in every thought. 
the devil can start asking you. Every thought is filtered through your house, actually, your house, and his will. Come. That's how we have to be when this shit is the fan, though. Yes, sir. I, I used to be a hothead. Not so much anymore. I get hot, but it's like. It's not like I, that. I'll cuss and scrap with you all. Yes. But with them, hey, what's up? You know, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a, fuck it. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, fuck them. We're, we're done with this place. When you're done with something, guess what? It'll be fun. Mm -hmm. And so we do what we gotta do to, to fucking survive. And guess where we feel great? And where we get a slice of heaven at? When we're doing these lessons, when we're with the brothers. Mm -hmm. You know? Anyway, uh, we didn't hear it because we didn't say wrap up. So she goes to Bossy because it's time. For true beginning of for her, is the desire of discipline, mm -hmm. and the cure of discipline is love. Mm. So if you dis yeah. if you dis dis uh, discipline goes to learning, right? I mean, a learner of someone, all right. The the disciples were learning; they were students, and after they graduated, they were the apostles. We're the apostles. You know what he said? <laughs> you look at that. He's looking at the original twelve here. Nah. Okay, buddy. <laughs> now, Lord, I just very bold and proud to say, um, we had examples of men of the Lord who were as we, John, uh, or we Elijah. No, John the Baptist. He was telling me, no, talking about he said, Yaakov, Yaakov, no, no, I wasn't here. I didn't know that. No. So you, we, why do you think you're somebody? Why not let me see me out? Like, who gives a fuck? Yeah. Um, Spirit should tell you about the him that taking himself to the same. Uh, high, high, yeah, more higher than you know. Um, not to think of himself as high as he got, not to be because he did. I love him so much. I'm getting old now. So right here. Yeah. yeah. You know, somebody get that because yeah, we wish that. <laughs> can't do that. So you can't go to get the stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, uh, that's uh, Second Corinthians eight. Because yeah. 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 you have to be disciplined. You have to become a little tutorship of the government, the scripture says, um, of Yahweh and Yahshai and His will, which is the elders and the uh, the apostles and the elders and the whole guy. All right. Yeah. You know what? Something that was nothing. No, I got you. Uh, first Corinthians eight and I'm sorry, but it's just uh, actually first one it says not now with such a thing offered unto idols. We have we know that we all have knowledge. Knowledge puffs up, mm -hmm. but charity edifies. Which certain men who uh, had called themselves having knowledge, which really they didn't have the whole wisdom. You know, uh, sometimes their works are, are shitty because of that because they don't have the full download of the spirit. And which this thing you see, men that they they they, uh, they are not going to be perfect, but still that doesn't mean you don't care for them. That doesn't mean that you're not there for them. That doesn't mean that you don't listen to them. In verse 2, it says, And if any man think that he knoweth anything, he knoweth nothing yet as he ought to know. That's right. There's always different layers to it. There's always different levels to it. So you think you're on some fucking level, motherfuckers, another level you can't see. I remember coming into the truth. I say, Lord, are you hiding something from me? I can read these scriptures and use it. I can see something, but I can't see something. It's something you're hiding. It's big, it's major. And why won't you tell it? I would cry out to him like that because. I used to study the Bible, but I couldn't get it until he opened up the door. All right? So the Lord has opened up the door. You better follow this, man. All right? And get other discipline. Right? Mm -hmm. uh, and and start, as a child, you think start, you know, that you stayed as a child, did things as a child. And now you wait, wait till he fuck up and you grow the fuck up and become a, 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 a man of the Lord, man. You put away childish things. Okay, start focusing on the Abba Shai, the scriptures, the ministry, the brothers, which we do for the body, charity, all right, friendship, brotherhood, all right. Um, what does it say? And love is the keeping of the laws, and the giving heed unto her laws is the assurance of incorruption. Mm -hmm. And incorruption maketh us near unto God. Mm -hmm. 
Therefore, the desire of wisdom bringeth to a kingdom. If you delight to be in thrones and scepters, O ye kings of the people, honor wisdom, that ye may reign forevermore. As for wisdom, what she is, and how she came up, I will tell you, and will not hide mysteries from you, but will seek her out from the beginning of her nativity, and bring the knowledge of her into light, and you will not pass over the truth. Neither will I go with consuming envy, for such a man shall have no fellowship with me. But the multitude of the wise is the welfare of this of the world. But the multitude of the wise is the welfare of the world. Without us, this world would be destroyed. Means that then is being destroyed. Okay, what happened with uh, when uh, Abraham uh, was talking about Lot? We said prayer said that there was what fifty righteous men being left with all the way down to one. And then you know the Lord said, "Hey, well, how about this? <laughs> we are gonna go warn them, and then we gonna get them up out of there, basically." Right? That's the same thing He's gonna do to us, right? Right? And but and uh, we are, we Yahweh Bashan Yahweh Shai, and we, He's about to throw down, man. He is pissed off, bro. He is very angry. He is not a happy camper. He's going to, when the scripture says he's going to leap off his throne, he's going to leap off his throne. The Most High, Yahweh Shai, is done with this place, man. And we can see the downfall, man. That's all. That's why we have to, if he's given us an opportunity to understand this, understand it, all right? Because it's the welfare of existence. And it's your own welfare too. Right? And as a wise king is the upholding of the people. And the people, uh, the righteous rule, the people rejoice, and the wicked rule, the people mourn. Mm -hmm. Receive their instruction through my words, and it shall do you good. Good. Yeah. Follow that wisdom. Thy getting good understanding and all thy ways acknowledge him and he shall direct thy path. Mm -hmm. right. And all people should be edified through the spirit of power, Yahweh, Shabbat, 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 Shabb